Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Things. Today's topic is one of my favorite topics. What is the deal with Thor and his powers and his hammer? And of course, I'm talking about the hammer that nobody can pronounce right, except if you love Thor, of course. Uh, so basically, now I think the deal with Thor's hammer is that you see when Odin cast a spell on it. he casted a spell that whosoever shall be worthy shall get the powers of thor and i think at that time he stripped away the powers from thor that's why when thor became worthy he got the powers back but people ask why did captain america get the powers then it's pretty clear he was worthy and he got the powers then does that mean that even without the hammer like thor he'll have the powers with him my answer is no I think that is because when Thor got back his powers in the first movie he got back his own powers so he got back the powers that were stripped away from him but because of Odin's spell Thor's powers also lie in the hammer so when Captain America lifted the hammer that is wielded the hammer in the final battle of end game he got Thor's powers but he got the powers that the hammer gave to him and Thor can call back the hammer whenever he wants and Thor has his own powers with him he does not need the hammer to access those powers but whereas captain america surely does need the hammer to access those powers or else if he had the power of thor he wouldn't have got old in end game he would have been just the same age as as guardians live forever and thor lives for a long time and captain america would have had the same power if he had the hammer with him if the hammer gave him the same powers as thor permanently thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to random things for more amazing content like this